Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, aka Ty Killington. Yeah. All right, this video, I'm gonna make a quick little video about um, hooking up your external hard drive because, as you know, with the new PlayStation 4.50 update, you can now add up to eight terabytes of external storage to your PlayStation, which is really, really cool. Um, so you don't have to worry about you know just relying on that 500 gig or that one terabyte uh, from the Pro or whatnot. Now there's there's several different ways you can go about doing this. You can um, you can install you, you can buy a Seagate's. The Seagate's are probably the more popular ones to uh, hook up internal because you just pop the casing and the internal uh, hard drive can fit right into the inside of your PlayStation right here in this little glossy part or this little uh, this, this section right here. You pop it out and then you can um, access your internal hard drive. I chose. There's my Western Digital right there. I chose to hook mine up external for a couple of reasons. Now this is all this this differs on everything, right? So when you internally hook up your uh, your HDD, you have to you know hold down your PlayStation button, restart it back into into uh, into safe mode or whatever, and it reformats the hard drive as if it was the initial hard drive that came with the PlayStation, right? So it does what they call a fingerprint. It fingerprints the hard drive. Uh, now, the reason why I kept mine external is because you can go back and forth. You can take things, uh, you can take your games and put them on there. And I can uh, take my external hard drive and take it to the PS4 Pro if I want to. I can take it to my neighbor's PlayStation. And as long as I have my user ID information, which is your password and your email address, you can take your external hard drive with you anywhere you want to. So that's why I kept mine uh, external because if you are, if you internally uh, install your your hard drive it is fingerprinted to this PlayStation so if you were to take it out and go to the pro with it it would say you uh because you know say you have like a two terabyte hard drive the pro comes with a one terabyte right and you want to use your two terabyte when you go to put it into your uh, ps4 pro your new system it will make you go back through the whole entire formatting process where you have to restart the device and all that good stuff and it will wipe everything that you had on there Whereas with your external hard drive, you just basically unplug it, or you oh, I'll show you here in a minute how to safely remove it. You uh, remove it from your, uh, your current console, and you just take it to your new console, and form, uh, you don't have to format it, you just uh, hook up your user interface, and there you go. <clears throat> I say user interface, excuse me, it's your user ID. You go to your new PlayStation, you, you key in your user ID, and then you hook up your uh, your external hard drive, and bam, you're good. Because the 4.50 update allows you to transfer your external hard drive from device just as long as you have it to the same user ID. So as long as you are wanting to use that same user ID, you can take that, H that external HD anywhere you want to. All right, so take it out of the box. This is uh, the box right here. This comes with a few things, no big deal. Um, let's see what's in here. A little casing or whatever it slides out you don't have to do any kind of uh stuff on your computer it's just plug and play you just plug and play it's good to go now i've already got mine hooked up so i'm gonna have to you're gonna have to kind of use some uh some imagination with me here so you plug it you hook up your usb it comes with a three it's a 3.0 whatever external hard drive you go with it's got to be usb 3.0 so you plug it into the, your device you plug it in via usb to your playstation all right and then you load up your PlayStation. It'll prompt you that you have something. If it doesn't prompt you, it's no big deal. All you gotta do is you wanna go up to your settings. Uh, where's it at? Go to your settings. Go down to devices. Now you are not gonna be able to see all of this because I've already got mine hooked up. But you click on devices, and then you go to USB storage, right, right here, and it'll it'll show you this. There will be no green dot right here. It'll say my passport 25E1. And mine's a two terabyte. It comes, you know, all their, their bloatware or whatever. It's 1.84. I have a 16 gig uh, game on there right now. It took three minutes to transfer a 16 gig game. It's not bad at all. It's pretty quick. Um, you know, I mean, the, the Western Digital, this is the My Passport two terabyte. It was 80 bucks. It wasn't that bad. I mean, for a two terabyte. I could have got a little bit cheaper online. I just didn't want to wait. So anyways, when you're at this screen right here, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll have your two, uh, 25E1. With no green dot, you'll hit X. It'll say, do you want to format? You'll hit X again. It'll prompt you and let you know that, hey, only thing you can save on this is your games, okay? Only thing you can save is your games. And once again, that goes back to the whole entire internal, external. If you were to hook this uh, external, if you were to, if I was to pop the case out of this, this thing is tiny, 
It's real small. If I was the pop, plus it kind of looks like the PlayStation. Um, if you, if I was to open this up, take the hard drive out, pop this open, swap out my hard drive, I would be able to save everything onto it. But once again, I would not be able to transfer that out because it fingerprints it to this actual device with the the coding that's on the back over there. I'm not gonna get on the back and show you whatever. Um, but so that's that's the whole reason why I kept mine external. So say this thing crashes or I want to go to a PS4 Pro, I just safely remove my um, my external my my passport my external hard drive, and I plug it into the PS4 Pro. And then I can transfer all my games from the hard drive onto my PS4 Pro's internal hard drive that it comes with. So now I have a two terabyte plus the Pro's one terabyte. I got three terabytes of storage, which for a average gamer, that is more than enough. I mean, more than enough, right? So say, say you want to do that. Let's go to a little tips and tricks here. Say you want to, uh, you know, go to your neighbor's house and bring some games over there. You want to hook up your user, uh, you're, you you want to put in your information for your user ID at your buddy's house or say you're getting a new console, you're upgrading. This is how you'd want to remove it. Do not just unplug it, okay? That's dumb. Don't do that. Don't just rip out the cable and think you can go. You want to highlight your, uh, you want to, let's just back out. So you want to, you want to, you know, take your HD somewhere else. You want to go to an upgraded device. You go to your settings right here, right? Your little briefcase or whatever, the toolbox. Go on down to your devices, right? This is for if you want to remove it. Click on there, go to USB storage devices. You want to click on passport. And then right here it says, stop using this extended storage. It gives you all the information right there. Western Digital, my passport, 25E1, uh, use space, all that good stuff. Uh, you, and you can also manage your content from here as well. So you can click on manage content. It's calculating, there's my system storage. I have uh, roughly 100 gigs of free space. Which is a lot, right? I deleted about 40 gigs of uh, capture gallery. You know, I do. I, I have a lot of saved footage. That's what the majority of my uh, data is used up for. So what what I, what I want to do is all my gallery stuff. I want to keep on my internal system storage, and all my games I want to have on my extended storage. Because as long as this bad boy is plugged into it, you can play your game. You know, you say the disc, or if it's a if it's a digital copy, you can just go right to it and play it through your your actual Western Digital your uh, your external hard drive. I did a lot of uh, research on this. Um, the Passports and the Seagates are the better ones to go with. Um, I, I've, I chose Western Digital. I used to work for um, uh, like uh, you know tech stuff and things like that back in the day. And Western Digital was always known for their reliability and stuff like that. Knock on wood. Uh, nothing happens to it, but yeah. So anyways, uh, I can go here. Here's the uh, click on the external. There's my application. I got 16.38 gigs. The free space is uh, 1.83 terabytes. Uh, on there, it's just my Star Trek. This is my digital game. It's 16.38 gigs. I took once again. It took three minutes to uh, copy that over. It was no big deal at all. So, what you want to do if you want to move it or if you want to take it out, you just hit stop using this extended storage, and then it will prompt you to say, "Now you can safely remove it." I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to take it off. I'm not going anywhere with it. I'm just going to leave it on right there. It's good to go. And uh, that's you know that's kind of the, the gist of it right there. I know that's really confusing. Uh, let me kind of go over it here for you one more time. Uh, there's two ways you can use, you can upgrade your 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 system, all right, your PlayStation system. You can buy an ex, you can buy a hard drive just like this, pop the case, and install it to the inside of your PlayStation itself. But remember, once you do that, you'll have to format it, and the PlayStation will think, hey, this is the hard drive that came out of the factory with us, and it's going to fingerprint it. It's going to take that fingerprint, and then it, it see my fingerprint is stuck to me, right? I can't take this fingerprint and well, science would allow you to. But anyways, I'm, I digress. I can't take this fingerprint and put it on anybody else's body, right? But if I had a extra finger, right, I could take that finger and put it on top of this finger, and now it's good to go, right? That's kind of like what the external hard drive is. That is a terrible analogy. Oh my god. Anyway, so. If you, if you were, the, once again, the Seagates are more popular for that. It's much easier to open the case up with those. But if I was to take this bad boy out, swap it out here, I could not take it out again and put it into a new PlayStation, like a Pro or a new console, because it has that, I, it has that fingerprint to it, and it would make me wipe it and reformat it from scratch to make that new console think, hey, this hard drive is the one that came from the factory with me. But if I keep it external like this, I can just safely remove it. I can take my new console, 
swap over my internal via a uh, wireless or ethernet cable and then hook up my external via my, my user ID and all my content is right there, which will save you a ton of time. It will save you out probably a whole day worth of, uh, of time because if you're transferring, you know, for one, my capture gallery stuff, you know, like my, my recordings, my pictures, I don't necessarily have to have that, right? I can swap over all of my games to my hard drive, safely disconnect it, take it to my new PS4 Pro, and then just via my user ID, plug it in, hook it up, it'll recognize it, and then I can transfer them back from my external hard drive onto the factory hard drive of the new console. So that's how that would work. Um, well, I, I know that's really confusing, I get it, but that's really the, the, the gist of it. This is not hard. Um, I don't mind, I mean, I, I know I have a wire right there poking out, you know, you have to go to that, you know, your menu option to safely remove it. That is not a big deal to me, right? So anyways, let's go back in here. Let me show you one more time here. We'll go to, uh, where's that? Storage, go in here, system storage, all right? There's my external hard drive. Go on there, applications, all right? This is a digital copy. This is my Star Trek game, okay? And I, the Star Trek game is not on my, my system storage, right? Let me show you. Go to application. I have 275 gigs of application, 67 gigs of uh, capture gallery, right? So if I go to my application, which is going to be like all my games and stuff like that. Battlefield 1 is 90 gigs, Jesus. Grand Theft Auto is 63, uh, but there is Dying Lights on there, Rocket League, No Man's Sky, still got that. Battlefield 4 is 72 gigs. You don't see any Star Trek on here, right? No Star Trek, all right? So, no big deal. You don't have to like. You don't have to swap it back to your internal to play it. So I'm just gonna back out. I'm gonna go to my Star Trek game right here. The little thing is just clicking away. Right, it's good to go. This is once again. This game is free too on a PS4. Everyone makes fun of me because it's a nerdy game, but this is a great game. It's free. It's it's legit. It's a fun game to play. And here it is loading up, coming through. There's no time delay. It's not any uh, slower than what it was before. It actually feels like it's a little bit faster loading up. <sighs> Coming through here, it's loading everything up. Once again, this is a free game. It's a digital copy. Uh, now, if it was a uh, like an actual disc, I would just have to make sure the disc is in like any other time I would play. You know, whether it's internal or external, it doesn't really matter. Let's see, it's loading up. This is normal. It takes a little bit of time coming through this little screen right here. That's totally normal. It's the same as what it was before. This game is so dope, man. I love it. Still loading in. Waiting for this and that. Waiting for the shard. <laughs> shard? Did you shard yourself? The old school uh, Enterprise right there. And then bam, we're loaded up and that's it. And once again, no difference in time. I feel like it's a little bit quicker actually. Uh, and that there you go. I mean, and that's really the gist of it So I wanted to show you how how easy it is to install. It's not hard at all. There's a few buttons uh, You have in, in the correct way really the only way to disconnect it if you just yank that cable It'll make you go through a repair process. Don't don't worry. It's not broke It's just a safety mechanism that's built into the PlayStation and the hard drive uh, To make sure in case there's any issues it can just fix it for you It takes like three or four minutes to go through that process. It's no big deal. So don't worry about that so if you do accidentally pull this out, it's not the end of the world. But just like any kind of storage device, you always want to shut it down properly, right? So, and that's that, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped out. I know it's a longer one, but that's kind of the gist of it. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, really, if, if you're worried about your storage, definitely do this. Uh, I would go with a Western Digital or a Seagate. Those are the two better ones to go with. If you want to go internal, by all means, go for that. The Seagate would be the better route to go with. It's much easier to, to get into the Seagate's uh, hard drive. This is really, there's tons of videos on how to swap these out. It's really easy, guys. Uh, but once again, hooking this up with the external hard drive literally took me about two minutes. Two minutes, okay? It didn't take any time at all. If you were to go internal with it, it's you have to you know swap everything out, re-download all your stuff. It's going to take a long, long time. That's the Well, that's one of the only downsides. Plus, you can't take that H, the internal HD uh, D device and go somewhere else with it because it's going to reformat it. And it's going to wipe all your data. You'd have to back it up to an external device, you know, then take it to your new device, format it, and then hook up your external device 
and re-download it into it. So why do all that when you can just, I mean, sacrifice, you know, a little device sitting on top of your PlayStation and a cable? That's 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 the trade-off right there. All right. So I hope this uh, this kind of helped out a little bit. Um, <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you got any questions. I'll try and and uh, you know explain it a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> I know it's I know it's some a little confusing, but it really is. not once you kind of get the grasp of it, it's not that hard. It's really easy to do this. And that's really it, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ill Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash, smash that like button and stay dangerous. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.